I'ma crush it. Call me the gold. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, your host of Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. It's a rainy, snowy. Well, it just can't make up its mind here in Pittsburgh today, but behind me is the ice skating rink at PPG Place. Now, we're coming to you to bring you a special edition of Unsung. On the day before Thanksgiving, the Unsung team was able to join Operation Walk as they celebrated three successful operations as part of the second annual Operation Walk event in Pittsburgh. It was a truly amazing story, and we could not wait to bring it to you, so we take a break from our normal format for this report. And now here's Christopher Whitlatch with a story from McGee Hospital. Thanks, Anthony. I'm here at McGee Women's Hospital today. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and behind me here in the family room are the patients and family members of Operation Walk Pittsburgh. We're going to learn a little bit more about Operation Walk Pittsburgh and how they're changing people's lives. The original concept with Operation Walk was that uh, we, uh, as a travel team, would go to foreign countries, uh, in our case the Caribbean and Latin America, and perform joint replacement surgeries on patients in need. And so the, from that, um, uh, we actually last year, uh, for the first time did Operation Walk Pittsburgh where we provided that same service to patients who are um, unable to have resources to uh, have hip or knee replacement surgery but provided it here at home in Pittsburgh. I think one of the things we're most proud about is um, this was truly a Pittsburgh effort. This is the strength of Pittsburgh is putting a team together and the team we put together was from all over West Pennsylvania. It didn't belong to any health system, it didn't belong to any one group. Um, we all came together uh, from Pittsburgh, Pittsburghers alike and make this happen. Uh, both and when we travel away in the Caribbean but also here in this program too. This program is very unique in that, uh, and I give UPMC and McGee Women's Hospital particularly, donated every service for free, in addition to Dr. Hamlin and myself for taking care of this patient for this, this week's surgeries here at McGee. So uh, I think it's a, a special program that all Pittsburgh could be proud of. And like most things, we'd, uh, we really want to get Pittsburgh's name out there and show that we can really do this. Well, basically, I wouldn't have been able to afford the surgery without the foundation. So My leg was actually two inches shorter than the other because of my hip was so bad. Um, I, I had to quit my job. It was just miserable. I was always in pain, so it was miserable. It, it just seems that um, some of the things that you take for granted uh, that you couldn't do beforehand, like go for a walk with a dog or walk up steps without being in any pain, it's just unbelievable the difference because it, you, you have no pain. It's a great, I mean, it's great for people that can't afford insurance too. I mean, because I couldn't afford insurance. So there was no way I was going to have the surgery. And I had, my, my right knee was bone rubbing bone, so. It was getting really hard to walk, like she said, the steps. So we, we recently just returned from Panama City, Panama. Um, our 2011 trip was two months ago. Uh, we traveled with 55 members uh, from the United States and performed 55 joint replacements on 45 patients in a period of seven days in Panama City. Uh, the two years prior to that, we traveled to Antigua in Guatemala uh, to perform the same kinds of surgeries as well. So this is, has been our third year uh, doing the into Latin America. Uh, what type of impact does Operation Walk uh, have on a, on a patient's life? Well, we're, we're very fortunate in the area we work in in that we can actually cure patients of their disease. So we can cure patients of hip and knee arthritis. And once you take away their pain from the arthritis, it's amazing what uh, uh, patients can do. And even any patient, all our patients here in the United States, we always get uh, 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 thanks of they, that we transform their lives. Uh, they go from being nearly bedridden to all of a sudden be able to travel and do the things they want to do and play with grandkids and be active and bicycle. So it's truly a transformation in the, in the kinds of things, the impact on their lives. When you take that one step further, when you go to a country like uh, Panama or Guatemala City where maybe they would do uh, a handful of joint replacements in the entire country in one year, these patients have been living with hip and knee arthritis for many, many, many years, many more years than our patients do here. It's kind of coinciding with the Thanksgiving holiday, um, which we think sort of makes sense 
uh, to provide this uh, uh, to to these patients who uh, need uh, this type of health care. Um, the, the, the decision has been made to kind of offer it this week or right around the Thanksgiving time. And actually now it's, it's actually turned into a national program. So there are actually patients across the entire country, either this week or next week, who are getting uh, essentially free care for their um, for joint replacement, again, of the hip or knee. And what our program does, um, specifically in Pittsburgh, is identify patients over the past six months to a year who can qualify for this program. They have to meet certain criteria. Um, and if they meet those criteria, then they're able to uh, pursue care within, within this type of program. It's a wonderful experience. I got a new hip out of it. The people have been lovely. I mean, it's like, it was wonderful. It's an incredible opportunity for anybody that is in severe pain that can't afford to have the surgery done. It's just, um, like I said, it was a miracle. This program is completely supported uh, by donations, and, by, and donations not just in dollars, but in time and in supplies. As an example, uh, in our recent trip, uh, we had every single implant donated, every single uh, person, 55 team members donated their time. Uh, we brought every medicine that we needed, every therapy uh, tool, every walker. Uh, we bring, we brought up over 6,000 pounds of supplies to support the, the team for a week. So the way people can get involved is uh, they can donate their time, they can help us uh, raise money for these kinds of events, they can help us raise supplies from donations. Our patients, uh, for instance, uh, donate back their walkers. Then after they're cured of their disease, they give it to us and we take it down on the trips as well. So there's many, many ways for people to participate. And also to keep in mind that to be a volunteer, you don't necessarily have to even be on the travel team. Uh, we have many people, particularly in Pittsburgh, that are supporting the travel team but don't necessarily want to make the trip themselves. And there's lots of opportunities for people to participate in that, uh, that way as well. And how can uh, someone find more information about you? Best uh, is our website. It's uh, Operation walkpgh.org. Uh, there's uh, lots of information there on the background, but you can also sign up for a, uh, our, our newsletter and our web blast, which we update uh, everyone on the progress of our uh, upcoming trips and ways they can participate. And there's also a way to sign up as a volunteer on the, on the website as well. If they have any other questions, they can certainly contact me in my office. Um, uh, we're on, in the book, and we'd be glad to help uh, help uh, uh, steer their interest in the, in the right locations as well. Had a nice surprise today. Uh, we're having a little bit of a kind of post, kind of a pre-Thanksgiving celebration of uh, providing the care this year. And the patients from last year actually came back today to let us know how they're doing. And uh, they're actually all doing fantastic. Uh, and it's nice to kind of catch up with them because um, uh, we haven't seen them for a while since it's been a while since they had their initial surgery. Uh, and uh, it's nice to see them all walking and smiling and, and telling, the, telling and them uh, expanding on what they're doing now and, and uh, that they're enjoying uh, their uh, ability to uh, walk and, and uh, live life and, 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 and uh, do it without pain. Operation Walk! We hope you enjoyed this special edition of Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. The first annual Unsung Holiday Show will air on December 19th, so hurry up and send us your 2012 Pittsburgh resolutions by loading a video to pittsburghonvideo.org with the tag Pittsburgh Resolution. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. Said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes f***ing mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it.